Welcome back. We have an accidental shooting involving a former football coach, which Alabama schools won blue ribbons from the Department of Education, and was there foul play at the State Fair? I'm Mike Morgan, and we're down in Alabama. Hey, you might want to send up a couple good thoughts for former Crimson Tide football coach Mike Dubose. The Dothan Eagle reported that Dubose accidentally shot himself in the torso with a 38 while working on his farm on Monday. His farm's near Op, and the report said he drove himself to Mizell Hospital there and was airlifted to Southeast Health in Dothan. It also said his injuries were not life-threatening. Since leaving the Tide in 2000, Dubose has coached some junior college ball and high school ball at Dothan Northview, Op, and Luverne. Yesterday, we mentioned that there had been several cases of West Nile show up down in Mobile County. Well, now Anna Bain reports that there's been a chicken down there and Theodore test positive for eastern equine encephalitis. So remember to wear mosquito repellent with DEET, pour out any standing water around the house, keep the door shut, and all your good sense anti-mosquito behavior. The 2018 National Blue Ribbon Awards are out for schools' performances on state assessments. Trisha Powell Crane reports that five winners are from Alabama. The U.S. Department of Education gives out the Blue Ribbons. The winners here are ARAB Elementary in ARAB, Athens Elementary in Athens, Liberty Park Middle School in Vestavia Hills, Mountain Brook Elementary in Mountain Brook, and Rock Quarry Elementary in Tuscaloosa. The Blue Ribbon is the highest honor the Education Department gives out to schools. Blue Ribbons went out to 349 schools nationwide for 2018. Now, two of those Alabama schools, ARAB Elementary and Athens Elementary, are Title I schools, which means that at least 40% of students there live below the poverty line. A tragedy occurred at the Alabama State Fair, and no, they didn't run out of funnel cake. The Pelham Police Department came in and performed an investigation to see whether foul play was involved, reports AL.com crime reporter Carol Robinson. No crime was uncovered, despite the dead body that had lain in the petting zoo for a few hours Saturday. It was a goat body. Witnesses said it remained unmoved for a few hours, and social media posts sparked some outrage over whether the animals were being treated well. Police received a complaint and showed up Saturday, but the goat had already been moved. They did some investigating and kept an eye on things for the next couple of days, and determined that the animals were being cared for and they even established a cause of death. Apparently, at some point, the camel fell on the goat. That's what they said. I don't know whether they questioned the camel or whether he was released on his own recognizance or what, but if you were at the Alabama State Fair on Saturday and you went through the petting zoo and you took pictures of your youngins next to a goat resting by the feed bowl, and I know somebody did, then, well, they've got them a digital childhood Alabama State Fair memory right there. The fair will be open through October 7. I'll see some of y'all there. Thanks for listening. We're back tomorrow. Till then, come see us whenever you want to on the World Wide Web at AL.com.